you go east along Duke Street, just past Tenants Brewery, turn up Macintosh Street and look very carefully to your left, you might spot a pillar with a cube on it. This is possibly Glasgow's smallest monument that isn't a plaque. It's so small it doesn't even show up on Google Maps. This monument commemorates the history of the area and was commissioned by Glasgow Council and sculpted by Vincent Butler and unveiled in 1985. The monument shows scenes from the history of the area from 580 to 1985, with the first one being a bishop and a shepherd. The bishop is St Mungo, Glasgow's patron saint. I'm not sure who the shepherd is. If you're familiar with the story of St Mungo and have an idea of who it might be, leave a comment below. The next scene shows men brewing beer, and on the wall behind them is the date 1556 which is the date brewing started here, something which still goes on just down the road. You might also have noticed on the left wall are symbols associated with St Mungo. A tree, a bell, a bird and a fish. The next scene shows a fight going on. The few references to the monument I've found usually just dismiss this as a reference to the violence in the area or to Duke Street Prison, but that is wrong. You will see the date 1580 on the wall, and might notice the fighting is going on in front of an elaborate doorway. That, to me, indicates that this is depicting the people of Glasgow defending their cathedral from the gang of workmen sent to destroy it. After that, the council took over the ownership of the cathedral, which is a good way of saying, if you harm it you'll have to deal with everyone in the city. The next scene shows some trees with animals emerging from them, with the old Saracen's Head pub in the background. There is a sign on the building with Saracen's Head Inn, 1755, and there is someone emptying a chamber pot from a window. This could be showing the area being transformed from country to town, but it might also commemorate that this area was on the route to the livestock markets. The next scene shows a slightly more up-to-date depiction of the local brewers, two men rolling some barrels along and on the end of one barrel it says, Tenants Well Park Brewery, 1960. The final scene, which comes right up to date for when the monument was made, is 1985. It shows some large buildings with Dunchatton Street and Cardross Court. Both of these places are real and just around the corner from the monument.